Hallelujah. Glory to God. I was out here yesterday and I was praying and I was talking to the Lord and thanking God for what He's done and how He blessed me and how He woke me up and allowed me to live another day and to give me breath and and I was thanking for our little church and I was thanking for what he blessed us with Sister Tanya and I was thanking for the the pulpit that we got and the podium and I was just thanking God for all of our stuff that he has blessed us with and and you know it, it, it's a blessing from God mm -hmm. hallelujah we got this place that we can come and worship Glory to God. we got a place that we can come and feel free and worship the Lord. The Bible said where there, there's liberty here. There's not no binding spirit. There's nothing that can hinder where the Spirit of the Lord is. There's liberty. In it. And, and I wanted people to know that there is a place that they can come to and to worship God. There's a place, glory to God, that you can come to and feel free to worship the Lord. I, glory to God. I want people to know that we love them out there and we appreciate them. Uh, glory to God. But I won't let no foolishness go on in the house of God, glory to God, because I'm going to be the one accountable for it. Uh, and I, I thought as I was reading the Word yesterday, uh, and I was reading again this morning about 2.30 or 3 o'clock. I was reading the Word of God again this morning about 4 o'clock. And I was reading the Word of God. And I said, man, I've got to go to sleep. i got to go to church in the morning and i got to preach. Well, guess what? I set my clock for 9 o'clock. And guess what? I was up at 9 o'clock, Lord to God. I was ready to go into the house of the Lord. And let us go into the house of the Lord. I was ready I, I, to be able to come into the house of the Lord. I, Lord of God, I don't care when it takes the time, Lord of God, you can set the clock so you know what time to be in the house of the Lord. Lord of God. Hallelujah. I've been praying and I've been talking to the Lord and I say, God, I want more for the church. I want the church to be on fire. I, I want the church to be happy. I, I want the church to know that God is real. Yeah. Glory to God, I'm not doing a 21 day pass for nothing. I, I'm doing it to see souls saved. I, I'm doing it to see people delivered. I, I'm doing it to see people come to the house of the Lord. Glory to God, the most God spoke it in existence. And I say, Lord, we'll do it, glory to God. I, your Bibles turn with me to Luke's Gospel chapter number 22 Glory to God beginning in verse 39 I'm going to read some reading here Glory to God y'all help me bear with me Glory to God the Bible said in Luke's Gospel chapter 22 and verse 39 and he came not out and went as he did as he was wont to the Mount of Olives and his disciples also followed him. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptations. I want y'all to listen to that. Glory to God. And he said, And it was withdraw from them about stones cast and he knelt down and prayed and the father, father. saying father if, it, if thou be willing remove this cup from me nevertheless not my will but thine will be done and there appeared unto him uh, appeared and an angel unto him unto him from heaven strengthen him and being in the agony he prayed more earnestly and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down on the ground and when he had rose up from praying and was come to the disciples he found them sleeping for sorrow and he said unto them why sleep ye arise and pray unless ye enter into temptation listen to that one and he, when they which wow, were, and wow. when they wow. and wow and wow and no wow. 
47. And why? No, no, I'm on 40. Yeah, 47. And while he yet spake, behold, a multitude, he that was called Judah, Judah, Judas, Judas one of the twelve went before them and drew near unto Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said unto him, Judas, betray thou the Son of Man with a kiss? And when they were about him, he saw what would follow. They said unto him, Lord, shall we smite one with the sword? And one of them smote one of the servants of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far. And he touched his ear and healed him. And Jesus said unto the chief priests and the captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him, Be, be it come out as against a thief with a sword and a sleeve. Staff. Staff. And when I was daily with you in the temple, ye scattered, stretched stretch forth on... No. Stretch forth no hands against me but this is your hour and the power of darkness now over here in John's gospel chapter number 18 and verse 30 uh, verse 10 it says then Simon Peter having a sword drew it and smote the high priest servant and cut off his right ear and the servant's name was Malchus. Then said Jesus unto Peter, Put up thy sword unto thy sheep. The cup which my father has given me shall not drink it. Shall I not drink it? Heavenly Father God, as I come to you once again, God, to be able to preach your word to your God today. I pray, God, that you would anoint me, God, and I'll be able to say what thus saith the word of the Lord. God, I pray, God, that you would help me, God, that I'll be able to say something that would help someone here today, God. But most of all, God, I pray that you would get me out of the way, Lord, and let the Holy Ghost come in and let the Holy Ghost be the teacher and let it be the preacher this morning, God. I pray you take a call off the altar and purge my lips. Then I say what thus saith the word of the Lord. And God, God, I pray you hide me behind the shell of the cross. That the world won't see me, God, but they'll see Jesus standing in front of me preaching this word today. Heavenly Father, God, we ask you right now, God, in your son's name, bless those out there in live stream today, God. You touch them, dear God, today, God, we ask, Lord, in your son's name. And the church say, Amen. 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 Lord, you got the Bible says here in verse 42 in Luke's gospel. Chapter 22, it says, Say, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And up there in verse 40, it said, And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray ye that ye enter not into temptation. And verse 46 says, And he said unto them, Why sleep ye? Arise and pray, unless ye enter into temptation. Now, glory to God, God begin to deal with me on oh, you're being asleep long enough. Yep, Lord. Amen. You've been asleep long enough. Amen. You have slept long enough. Because if you don't wake up, temptation's going to come your way. Hallelujah. And I thought about this yesterday. Glory to God, if the church world would wake up and realize that Jesus is Christ and that He lives and He reigns forevermore, glory to God, then God will move. Glory to God, people want to sleep too much. They want to sleep in the house of God. They don't want to serve the Lord. Sleep the other night. 
And I was asleep. And the devil came and brought a big old pan like this right here full of chocolate chip cookies. I'm talking the biggest chocolate chip cookies you've ever seen. Yes, Glory to God, the smell come up into my nose and me asleep. Glory to God. And then all of a sudden he showed me a big old pan of brownies about that thick and about like this with chocolate oozing out of them and nuts all over them. And I was, oh man, and I said, get out of my sleep, devil. I don't have to have that. Glory to God. Spiritual food. Glory to God. I want you to know the teacher will come while you're asleep. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't think he won't because he'll put dirty thoughts in your mind while you're sleeping. Glory to God. He'll come and tempt you with dirty things. Glory to God. He'll try to put something in there. Glory to God to get your mind off of God. Glory to God. You say the devil won't come in your dreams. Yes, he will. You'll be laying there asleep. And God will put some other woman right there in front of you. Another girl. The devil will put some woman right there in front of you. Yeah. Another girl. Say, oh, don't she look so good? Don't she look better than that one you got? Don't think he won't, because I know he will. Right. Hallelujah, Brother Josh. He'll put one there in front of you. Say, look at her. She looks better than your wife. Look what she looks like. I'll show you everything if you want to see it. The devil will show you things. He'll tempt you in your sleep. Glory to God when you're sitting in the house of God and you're asleep when you're not praising God and you're not worshiping God. The devil's putting things in your mind and saying, what's the use of being there? What's the use? Jesus here, knowing that he was fixing to be crucified, Knowing that he was going to have to lay his life down. Went into the garden of Gethsemane. And he knelt down by that rock and he began to pray. Yep, Lord. The Bible said he took Peter, James, and John with him. Yep, Lord. And he told them, he said, y'all stay out here and watch while I go pray. Yep, Lord. He went in there and prayed and he cried. And he said, Father, if it be thy will. Let this cup pass from me. But if not, Lord, but if not, Lord, thy will be done. And the Bible said he got up. And he went out there. There was Peter, James, and John sat asleep. He spoke Peter on the side. He said, couldn't you not sleep? Couldn't you not stay awake one hour? Just one hour with me. You couldn't stay awake. What if Jesus would come down in the church and smack you upside the head and say, why are you sleeping in the church? Why are you sleeping? You can't stay awake for 30 minutes in a church service. You can't stay awake for an hour in the church service. You're just sleeping and letting the Spirit go on by you. Glory to God, I wonder what people would do if Jesus would come. Said, but Jesus went back and he prayed that much more. And he got up. Went back out there again. Fell asleep. Couldn't you just stay awake one more hour with me? Couldn't you just stay awake? Huh? Couldn't you just stay awake? No. Uh uh. You know what he told him? He said, just sleep on. Sleep on. Sleep on. That's what he's fixing to tell the church. Right. He's fixing to tell the church just to sleep on. Sleep on, sleep on church. Sleep on. Just go on to sleep, church. I've got somebody that's ready. I've got somebody that I know that's alive. I've got somebody that I know is serving me. He'll say, sleep on, church. Just sleep on. Glory to God. And the Bible said that he went in and he prayed. And he prayed earnestly until his sweat became his great drops of blood. While Peter, James, and John sat out there asleep by the tree. Glory to God. And Jesus in there praying in agony and crying for their souls. Glory to God. 
God sent these angels down. And this angel strengthened him. Put him my arms around him. And strengthened Jesus. And Jesus said, sleep on, church. Just sleep on, church. Because temptation's coming your way. You're just going to let temptation override. You're going to let temptation override your spirit. You're going to let the devil just take your all that God's given you all through this 21 day fast. If you ain't careful, that tempter's going to come. And that tempter's going to pull that away from you. He's going to say, just one day ain't going to hurt. One day's not going to stop it. Glory to God, but can I tell you, God said to stay fast. Stay fast to it. Stay hold on it. Victory's ahead. Glory to God. Joy comes in the morning. The church is asleep and the church has got to come alive, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, when the tempter comes, he'll come to you. Say, I'll oh, talk about that sister. Talk about that brother. Say something about this one. Say something about that one. Before you know it, guess what? You're still asleep. And guess what you're doing? Did you hear about Sister So and So? Did you hear about what that brother done the other night? I saw him out there at Dairy Queen, and he wasn't with his wife. He had some other woman with him. Oh, well, did you know about that? That could have been his sister. Amen. That could have been one of his sister-in-laws. Oh, but I spread that all over Glasgow. I'll spread that all over the world. Oh, did you see sister so-and-so? Man, she was supposed to be on far for God. Oh, but did you see her over there at Walmart looking at them two-piece bikinis and wanting one of them? Oh, did you see that? I thought they supposed to be holy. I thought they supposed to be on fire for God. And here they're looking at them bikinis. You don't know what they was looking at. They might have been looking at something right there beside them. Jesus said the tempter will come while you're asleep. Glory to God. In the church is asleep. Church world is asleep. Amen. The church world has went to sleep. Amen. Secular churches, they're asleep. They're everywhere. And they're asleep. Amen. Brother Josh, as I was praying yesterday, I could see this in my mind. And as I read it this morning, I could see it in my mind, Sister Tanya, how these secular churches, they want the fog machines. They want the flashing lights. Glory to God, if it don't work, the glory of God's not in the temple. I can see the fog in this place. And it's the glory of God. The church has been asleep. Amen. <coughs> Sister Bonnie, the church has been asleep. Right? The Bible tells us can you not stay awake one hour? Just one hour. Some churches only have church service an hour and then they go home. Amen. Ain't got time enough to even drive out there and turn around and drive back. Right, Churches is done let out. Done gone home. Yep, Lord. Oh, they'll get in there and they'll play that bop bop music, shake their heads and, and <coughs> dance around on the pulpit and, and the power of God not be in it. Uh, and they think they're having church. Yep, uh, they think they're having 
service. They're asleep. They're asleep and the teacher has come in. And the teacher has took their joy. The teacher has took their skin. The teacher has took all of their praise. Glory to God. Oh, they think it's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. Man of God stand behind the pulpit. Supposed to be man of God standing behind the pulpit. Say it's okay if you want to fool around Amen. your wife. Oh, it's okay if you want to fool around your husband. Oh, it's okay, young man, if y'all want to shack up with your girlfriends. Oh, it's okay. Just move in and try the cow out for a little bit. See if that heifer's going to be any good. It'll be okay. Yeah, just try. Oh, it'll be all right. I'll just go out there and get you a little beer every once in a while. Flush your kidneys out. It'll be okay. I'll just get you a little bit of that cooking sherry wine. Hey, to just pour it over your food. It'll be okay. Oh, but he don't tell you about that wine. Oh, sit there drinking it before they pour it over the food. Hallelujah. That's how the temperature comes. Lord, God, you'll be in there starting to cook. Speech, 
betrays me. Help me Lord. Your speech betrays you. Ain't you one of them? No! You're crazy! Yep. The tempter caught him asleep. Amen. My Jesus. The tempter yep. caught him asleep. Brother Daniel, he said, No! No, I ain't one of them. Amen. Then the Bible said later on, another woman came to me. I said, You are one of them. You are one of them. He said, No, I'm not. And the Bible said, Then he began to curse. He began to say bad words. He began to curse God. He began to say things about Jesus. And all of a sudden, the cock crows. The cock crowed. And Peter knowed then he denied the Lord Jesus. Why? Because the teacher came and he caught him asleep. And he denied him. Hallelujah. And the Bible said Peter went. And he went and prayed and he cried. Wept sorrowful. He wept and he cried. Because he denied the Christ. It started in the garden. It started in the garden. When Jesus said there in the garden, he said, Peter, James, and John, y'all boys come with me. He had confidence in those three boys. He had confidence in them three men. He said, you follow me. You follow me. Glory to God. Yes, Jesus, we followed you. We've been everywhere you've been. He said, then just sit here and pray while I go pray yonder. And he comes and finds him asleep. He expects him to come and find the church asleep. See the bright light shine. Oh, it's just about home time. I can see my father standing at the door. This world's been in the wilderness way too long. You've been in the wilderness way too long. You've been circling around the wilderness way too long. You've been asleep way too long, church. You better wake up or the master's going to come by. He's going to say, sleep on. You just sleep on. He said, I've got a church out of the church. I've got me a church that's made herself ready. Glory to God, he's talking about the pride of Christ. Glory to God, he's not talking about these secular churches. He's not talking about these friendly churches. He's not talking He said, I'm coming back after a church that has made their self free. He did not say, Brother Austin, he's coming back after a sleeping church. He did not say that he's coming back after a secular church. He did not say he was coming back after a friendly church. He did not say he was coming back after a love church. He did not say he was coming back after a church that says the trees look good and the flowers look good. But he said, I'm coming back after those that have made their self ready. Without a spot, without a wrinkle, without a blemish upon the garment. Glory to God, when you get saved, he puts a robe of white upon you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, wake up, church. Wake up. Amen. Wake up. Wake up. It's time to wake up. Yep, You've been asleep way too long. Way too long, church. You've been yep, asleep. Lord. He said, wake up. Wake up, church. Wake up. You've been asleep way too long. He said, wake up, wake up, church. You've been asleep way too long. Why can't you just stay awake just for a while? Hey, let me come in. Oh, but he'll say, wake up, church. Wake up. Glory to God. Or he's going to say, oh, church. Oh, church, just sleep on, sleep on. 
sleep on, church, sleep on. Glory to God, my sick on the Lord high. He's going to say, sleep on, church, sleep on. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Church, I'm telling you today what God gave me. He said either you wake up or the tempter's going to come and he's going to tempt you. In your sleep, he's going to tempt you. While you sit in the house of God, he's going to tempt you, Lord of God. You say, oh, no. No, Brother Miller. You've missed God. No, I ain't. Mm -mm. You can ask that over there. If I don't get a message from God, I don't preach it. Glory to God, when God gives me something, I'm going to tell the church. I don't care who gets mad, who don't like it. I don't care if you're here this morning and you're hearing it by live stream. Glory to God, you can sleep. You can sleep on. And God said, wake up, church. Wake up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, this world's coming to a close. Amen. And the Bible said, what? While it's day, because night will come. And no man will be able to work. Amen. Brother Austin, he said, look up. Yep, look up. Your redemption draws nigh. Amen. That's what it says. He said, I'm also nigh. Yep, he said, I'm also nigh, even at the door. Sister Emily, he says, I'm at the door. I'm right there at the threshold. And I'm fixing to come and get my bride. Amen. And the church better wake up. But he's going to come a like a thief in the night. Guess what? He's going to catch the sacred churches asleep. Jesus. He's going to catch the Pentecostal churches asleep. Oh, brother Miller. Oh, he's going to catch the church of God's asleep. Amen. Yeah. He's going to catch the Methodists asleep. Amen. He's going to catch the Presbyterians, yep. the Baptists, mm -hmm. the Church of God of Prophecies. He's yep. going to catch them asleep. All these independent churches, guess what? Yep. If they ain't on far for God, he's going to catch them asleep. Amen. And when he comes, guess what he's going to say? Sleep on. Sleep on. Just sleep on. Sleep on, church. And he's going to take his bride home. He said, there's a number that no man can know. I want to be one of them in the bride. I want to be one of them churches. I want to be one of them. Brother Joshua, when he calls our name, then we go, and we're gone. I will be one of them, Sister Tiny, that's alive and remain. And I get to watch them old dead bodies come up out of them graves. Come up out of that concrete, up out of that black top. Glory to God, you'll see them coming up out of the waters and the rivers. Come to see Jesus. Come to see Jesus. And then the Bible said, those which are alive and remain shall be called up to be with Jesus. Wouldn't that be good just to be standing there, Sister Tanya, and all of a sudden just go, and you're gone. And those old earthly clothes just fall off. All those old rags and riches just falls right off of you. And that robe of white that he puts upon us, that glorified body. No more sickness. No more pain. No more death. No more sorrow. Won't have to worry about leg pains no more. Won't have to worry about back pains no more. I won't have to worry about these spasms that I've been having in my, my exotic nerve back here. I won't have to worry about that no more. I won't have to worry about going to a graveyard or going to a funeral home no more. Because I'm going to a place where death shall not enter. I'm going to a place where cancer will not be there. I'm going to a place where there won't be no sugar diabetes. I'm going to a place where there won't be no uh, tuberculosis of the liver. I'm going to a place where there won't be no cancer in the liver. I, I'm going to a place, Brother Michael, I, where there's going to be joy. The morning started in the garden. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wake up, church. That's what he's telling me. Wake up. Wake up. Live stream. Wake up, live stream. Wake up. Or he's going to let you just sleep on. He's just going to let you sleep on. He's just going to let you keep on doing it. He's just going to let you keep on drinking that alcohol. He's just going to let you keep on doing that. If you don't give it up, if you don't give your life to God, He's just going to let them sleep on. Because it's your choice. It's your choice if you want to serve God. It's your choice if you want to be saved. It's your choice. Jesus just went to the cross so you can have that choice. But He didn't say that He was going to make you be saved. It's your choice to be saved. I can't make you saved. I can preach you the word and preach you under conviction, but I can't save you. Jesus is the only one that can save you. I thought about this this morning. I thought about open referee. All this stuff that she's got going on. And that's when I got to sleep on the church. Because the Bible said if it be possible, the very elect would be deceived. And guess what? It's possible. Because the very elect are being deceived by one woman. One woman has deceived many. One woman has deceived many. Men of God, it's supposed to be men of God, has turned their back on God. And they're saying there's more ways than one to go to heaven. Amen. And guess what's happened to them? They're asleep. They're asleep. And Jesus said, you could not stay with me one hour. Just one hour is all I ask you to stay with me. One hour. It ain't that hard just to stay one hour. You can't even get down and pray for an hour. He says you can't even pray for an hour. You start to read the Word. Guess what the tempter does? What does he do? You start going. Doze it off. He says, oh, I'll just go on and go to sleep. You don't need to read that Word. And that sleepy spell goes, he says, go to sleep. And all of a sudden, you Bible, I said, you Bible just goes, and you're, or, Today's terms, he'll come at you and say, oh, just get on Facebook. It'd be okay. Don't read that word. Just get on Facebook and look on Facebook or play those video games or do this and do that and it'd be okay. And Jesus said, just sleep on. Sleep on while the tempter comes. Because he's going to tempt you with temptation. I asked God. I said, Lord, I want more of you. I want to be able to preach to the church what the church needs. I want to preach something that's going to help the church. Amen. And I didn't know that God was going to preach this way. I did not know this is the way this was going to go. I did not know that I was going to preach on the secular churches and the friendly church is being asleep. I did not know that. But I do know this. One day he's going to come. Amen. And he's going to split them skies. And he's going to say time shall be no more. Amen. And he's going to look at them churches and say sleep on. Amen. Sleep on church. And he's going to call his church, his bride. His bride. He's going to call them out. And the ones that's true, the ones that's living it, he's going to call them out one by one. And he's going to say, come on. Come on. Come on. No, that's where my heart is. My treasure, I'm setting up in the heaven because I know there's nothing this world has to offer me. Nothing but heartache, sorrow, and pain. And when we get ready and we make heaven our home, hallelujah, all of the old things are passed away. Right. Jesus will be Light of that city. 
see Amen. it. And there'll be no more sorrow, no more pain. Right. If you just let that reality sink in, sink in, sink in. Yes. When you see so much here, and you see so many people sick, and you see so many people out of work, and you yes. see so many people not have enough money to pay the bills. No, not enough money to put enough food on their table. Right. None of that will be there. None of that. All will just be pleasure and happiness in Jesus when we get there. All these things will be passed away. Amen. And don't it make you want to go? Don't Amen. it make you want to go? Strive to enter there. But let me tell you, if we don't make it there, the only other place to go is hell, and it's real Amen. too. So we need to strive every day to make it to heaven because when we get where we're going, there's no coming back. That's right. It's like that song Brad Paisley and Dolly Parton says, when I get where I'm going, is only happy tears. When we get where we're going, there ain't going to be no coming back. We're going to stay. So that's why we have to make sure we live every day for Jesus. Read his word and do what he says. The Bible says obedience Amen. is greater than sacrifice. Amen. And Jesus will take care of us. Amen. I love your Lord today. Amen. Brother Ross. Amen. That's the prayer of the offer this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, as I come to you this morning, Lord God, just thank you so much for allowing us to be here today, Lord God. Lord, I just pray, Lord God, that you bless us all for the to the living of your kingdom, Lord God. I just ask that you bless those who uh, have to give and those who don't, Lord God. I just once again just thank you for being here today, Lord. And I just pray, Lord God, that you use this to, uh, to build your kingdom, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. If you got ties and ties boxes up here.
praying and I've been talking to the Lord and I say, God, I want more for the church. I want the church to be on fire. I want the church to be happy. I want the church to know that God is real. Glory to God, I'm not doing a 21 day fast for nothing. I'm doing it to see souls saved. I'm doing it to see people delivered. I'm doing it to see people come to the house of the Lord. Glory to God, the most God's perfect in existence. And I say, Lord, we'll do it, glory to God. I feel good this morning. I'm happy this morning because I know who I serve this morning. Glory to God, in His name is Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You got your Bibles turned with me to Luke's Gospel, chapter number 22. Glory to God, beginning in verse 39. I'm going to read some reading here. Glory to God, y'all help me, bear with me. Glory to God, the Bible said in Luke's Gospel, chapter 22, and verse 39, And he came not out, and went as he did, as he was wont to the Mount of Olives and his disciples also followed him. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptations. I want y'all to listen to that. Glory to God. And he said, And it was withdrawn from them about stones cast. And he knelt down and prayed. And the Father. Saying, Father, if it, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. And there appeared unto him, uh, appeared an, an angel unto him, unto him, for, from heaven, strengthen him. And being in the agony, agony he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was at, as it were great drops of blood falling down on the ground. And when he had rose up from praying and was come to the disciples, he found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said unto them, Why sleep ye? Arise and pray, unless ye enter into temptation. Listen to that one. And he, when they which were when they and wow and wow and wow and no 47 and wow no, no I'm on 40 yeah 47 <laughs> and while he yet spake behold a multitude he that was called Judah Judah Judas, Judas one of the twelve went before them and drew near unto Jesus to kiss him but Jesus said unto him Judas Betray thou the Son of Man with a kiss. And when they were about him, he saw what would follow. They said unto him, Lord, shall we smite one with the sword? And one of them smote one of the servants of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far. And he touched his ear. And healed him. And Jesus said unto the chief priests and the captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him, be be it come out as against a thief with a sword and a sleeve. Staff. Staff. And when I was daily with you in the temple, ye Scattered, stretch forth on, no. stretch forth no hands against me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. Now over here in John's Gospel, chapter number eighteen and verse thirty, uh, verse ten, it says, "Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it." and smote the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. And the servant's name was Malchus. Malchus. Then said Jesus unto Peter, Put up thy sword unto thy sheath. The cup which my father has given me shall not drink it. Shall I not drink it? Heavenly Father God, as I come to you once
once again, God, to be able to preach your word to your God today. I pray, God, that you would anoint me, God, and I'll be able to say what thus saith the word of the Lord. God, I pray, God, that you would help me, God, that I'll be able to say something that would help someone here today, God. But most of all, God, I pray that you would get me out of the way, Lord, and let the Holy Ghost come in and let the Holy Ghost be the teacher. And let it be the preacher this morning, God. I pray you take a call off the altar and perch my lips. Then I say what thus saith the word of the Lord. And God, I pray you hide me behind the shell of the cross. That the world won't see me, God, but they'll see Jesus standing in front of me preaching this word today. Heavenly Father, God, we ask you right now, God, in your son's name, bless those out there in live stream today, God. You touch them, dear God, today, God, we ask, Lord, in your son's name. And the church say, Amen. 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 Lord, you got the Bible says here in verse 42 in Luke's gospel. Chapter 22, it says, Say, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And up there in verse 40, it said, And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray ye that ye enter not into temptation. And verse 46 says, And he said unto them, Why sleep ye? Arise and pray, unless ye enter into temptation. Now, glory to God, God begin to deal with me on you're being asleep long enough. Yeah, Lord. Amen. You've been asleep long enough. Amen. You have slept long enough. Because if you don't wake up, temptation is going to come your way. Hallelujah. And I thought about this yesterday. Glory to God, if the church world would wake up and realize that Jesus is Christ and that He lives and He reigns forevermore, glory to God, then God will move. Glory to God, people want to sleep too much. They want to sleep in the house of God. They don't want to serve the Lord. Jesus here, knowing that he was fixing to be crucified, 
knowing that he was going to have to lay his life down, went into the Garden of Gethsemane, and he knelt down by that rock, and he began to pray. Yep, Lord. The Bible said he took Peter, James, and John with him. Yep, Lord. And he told them, he said, y'all stay out here and watch while I go pray. Yep, Lord. He went in there and prayed, and he cried. And he said, Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass from me. But if not, Lord, but if not, Lord, yep. thy will be done. And the Bible said he got up. And he went out there. There was Peter, James, and John sat on sleep. He smoked Peter on the side. He said, couldn't you not sleep? Couldn't you not stay awake one hour? Yep, Just one hour with me. You couldn't stay awake. What if Jesus would come down in the church and smack you upside the head and say, why are you sleeping in the church? Why are you sleeping? You can't stay awake for 30 minutes in a church service. You can't stay awake for an hour in the church service. You're just sleeping and letting the Spirit go on by you. Glory to God, I wonder what people would do if Jesus would come. God, the Bible said that Jesus went back and he prayed that much more. Him, and he got up. Help him, Lord. Went back out there again. Fell asleep. Couldn't you just stay awake one more hour with me? Couldn't you just stay awake? Huh? Him, Couldn't you just stay awake? No. Uh uh. So you know what he told him? He said, just sleep on. Sleep on. Sleep on. Sleep on. That's what he's fixing to tell the church. That's right. He's fixing to tell the church just to sleep on. That's right. Sleep on, church. Sleep on. Just go on to sleep, church. I've got somebody that's ready. I've got somebody that I know that's alive. I've got somebody that I know is serving me. He'll say, sleep on, church. Just sleep on. Glory to God. And the Bible said that he went in and he prayed. And he prayed earnestly until his sweat became as great drops of blood. While Peter, James, and John sat out there asleep by the tree. Glory to God. And Jesus in there praying in agony and crying for their and all of a sudden the Bible said that his sweat became as great drops of blood. Glory to God in situations they say, Glory to God, you have to pray so hard until the blood vessels bust in your eyes to start bleeding like that. That's how earnest Jesus was. And the Bible said that God sent these angels down. And this angel strengthened him. Help him Put him on arms around him. Help him and strengthened Jesus. And Jesus said, sleep on, church. Just sleep on, church. Because temptation's coming your way. You're just going to let temptation override. You're going to let temptation override your spirit. You're going to let the devil just take your all that God's given you. All through this 21 day fast. If you ain't careful, that tempter's going to come. Right, and that Lord. tempter's going to pull that away from you. Yeah, He's going to say, just one day ain't going to hurt. Right. One day's not going to stop it. Glory to God. But can I tell you, God said to stay fast. Stay fast to it. Stay hold on it. Victory's ahead. Glory to God. Joy comes in the morning. Glory to God. If you just The church is asleep and the church has got to come alive, Lord. Hallelujah, when the tempter comes, he'll come to you. Say, I'll oh, talk about that sister. Talk about that brother. Say something about this one. Say something about that one. Before you know it, guess what? You're still asleep. And guess what you're doing? Did you hear about Sister So-and-so? Did you hear about what that brother done the other night? 
I saw him out there at Dairy Queen, and he wasn't with his wife. He had some other woman with him. Well, did you know about that? That could have been his sister. That could have been one of his sister-in-laws. Oh, but I'll spread that all over Glasgow. I'll spread that all over the world. Oh, did you see sister so-and-so? Man, she was supposed to be on fire for God. Oh, but did you see her over there at Walmart looking at them two-piece bikinis and wanting one of them? Oh, did you see that? I thought they supposed to be holy. I thought they supposed to be on fire for God. And here they're looking at them bikinis. You don't know what they was looking at. Church world is asleep. Amen. The church world has went to sleep. Amen. Secular churches, they're asleep. They're everywhere. And they're asleep. Amen. Brother Josh, as I was praying yesterday, I could see this in my mind. And as I read it this morning, I could see it in my mind, Sister Tanya, how these secular churches, they want the fog machines, they want the flashing lights. Glory to God, if it don't work, the glory of God's not in the temple. I can see the fog in this place, and it's the glory of God. The church has been to sleep. Amen. <coughs> Sister Bonnie, the church has been to sleep. Right. The Bible tells us, can you not stay awake one hour? Just one hour. Some churches only have church service an hour and then they go home. Amen. Ain't got time enough to even drive out there and turn around and drive back. Right. Churches is done let out. Then gone home. Yep, Lord. Oh, they'll get in there and they'll play that bop bop music, shake their heads and, and dance around on the pulpit and the, and the power of God not be in it. Uh, and they think they're having church. Uh, they think they're having service. Uh, they're asleep. Uh, they're asleep and the teacher has come in. Uh, and the teacher has took their job. Stand behind the pulpit. Supposed to be men of God standing behind the pulpit. Say it's okay if you want to fool around Amen. your wife. Oh, it's okay if you want to fool around your husband. Oh, it's okay, young man, if y'all want to shack up with your girlfriends. Oh, it's okay. Just move in and try the cow out for a little bit. See if that heifer's going to be any good. It'll be okay. Oh, it'll be all right. I'll just go out there and get you a little beer every once in a while. Flush your kidneys out. It'll be okay. I'll just get you a little bit of that cooking sherry wine. Ain't they just pour it over your food? It'll be okay. Oh, but he don't tell you about that wine. Oh, sit there and drink it before they pour it over the food. Hallelujah. That's how the temperature comes. Glory to God, you'll be in there starting to cook. Steak. Oh, you're cooking that chicken and you're pouring that beer on top of that chicken. And you're pouring that wine on top of that. Oh, one little sip ain't going to hurt. Nobody didn't see that. Oh, that one little drink of beer didn't hurt. Nobody didn't see that. Oh, but Jesus did in the garden. Jesus saw it in the garden. Yeah, 
you say, oh, it's okay. Yep, oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay if you want to smoke down. Mm -hmm. yep, our Congress and our senators are saying, oh, it's okay to legalize marijuana. Yeah, Medical marijuana is going to help you. Yep, Hogwarts, it's nothing but of the devil. Yep, the devil has got their blind and he's got them seeing things that they want me to see. Our Congress is asleep. Amen. Our Congress and our governors and our senators, they're asleep. Yep, Lord. And Amen. Jesus said, sleep on. Just sleep on. Amen. Yeah. Just go ahead and sleep on, Tanya. Go ahead, Brother Mike. Yeah. Congress says it's okay, Sister Missy. Just sleep on. Sleep on, Sister Tanya. He says. Oh. Yep, I don't want Jesus to say sleep on to me. But this United States of America has turned their back Amen. on God. Amen. But God has got two godly men in the White House right now yep, that believes in God. And that believes for the United States of America yep, to come back to God. How? Because Jesus is going to wake people up. Amen. He's fixing to show people why He went to that garden. He's fixing to show why He went and prayed in the garden. It all started in the garden. He said it started in Calvary. It started in the garden. When he went and prayed and said, Father, be thy will. Let this cup pass away. It started in the garden. He said, Why can't you stay away? He just said, Just sleep on, people. Just sleep on, Peter. James and John. You say the tempter won't come? Well, let me tell you something. They took Jesus to the high priest's hall. Yep, Lord. Brother Gavin, and they took him in there. Yep, Lord. Brother Josh. Yep, Lord. And the Bible said Peter was sitting down by the fire. Yep, Lord. Warming, himself. Warming himself. Man, ain't this feel so good? And this woman said, hey, ain't you one of them? Amen. Ain't you one of them that was with the Christ? No, I ain't one of them. No, no. Uh -uh. No, I'm not one of them. Yep, Lord. And then the Bible said, later on, a man came to him and said, Hey, ain't you one of them? Your speech betrays, me. Yep, Lord. Your speech betrays you. Ain't you one of them? No, you're crazy. Yep. The tempter caught him asleep. Amen. Jesus. The tempter caught him to sleep. Brother Daniel, he said, No! No, I ain't one of them. Amen. Then the Bible said later on, another woman came to him. He said, You are one of them. You are one of them. He said, No, I'm not. And the Bible said, Then he began to curse. He began to say bad words. He began to curse God. He began to say things about Jesus and all of a sudden the cock crows. The cock crowed and Peter now again he denied the Lord Jesus. Why? Because the picture came and caught him asleep and he denied him. Hallelujah. And the Bible said Peter went. And he went and prayed and he cried. Wept sorrowful. He wept and he cried because he denied the Christ. It started in the garden. It started in the garden. When Jesus said there in the garden, he said, Peter, James, and John, y'all boys come with me. He had confidence in those three boys. He had confidence in them three men. He said, you follow me. You follow me. Glory to God. Yes, Jesus, we followed you. We've been everywhere you've been. He said, then just sit here and pray while I go pray yonder. And he come and find him asleep. He's fixing to come and find the church asleep. That's right. See the bright light shine. Oh, it's just about home time. I can see my father standing at the door. This world's been a wilderness way too long. 
You've been in the wilderness way too long. You've been yes. circling around the wilderness way too long. You've been asleep way too long, church. You better wake up or the master's going to come by. And he's going to say, sleep on. You just sleep on. He said, I've got a church out of a church. I've got me a church that's made herself ready. Glory to God, he's talking about the pride of Christ. Glory to God, he's not talking about these secular churches. He's not talking about these friendly churches. He's not talking about these love churches. But he's talking about the holiness church. He's talking about the house of prayer. He's talking about the bride of Christ. Glory to God. That's who Jesus is talking about. He said, I'm coming back after a church that has made their self ready. He did not say, Brother Austin, he's coming back after a sleeping church. He did not say that he's coming back after a secular church. He did not say he was coming back after a friendly church. He did not say he was coming back after a love church. He did not say he was coming back after a church that said the trees look good and the flowers look good. But he said, I'm coming back after those that have made their self ready. Without a spot, without a wrinkle, without a witness upon the planet. Glory to God, you get saved. He puts a robe of white upon you. Hallelujah. He said, wake up, church. Wake up. Amen. Wake up. Wake up. It's time to wake up. Yep, You've been asleep way too long. Way too long, church. You've been yep, asleep. He said, wake up. Wake up, church. Wake up. You've been asleep way too long. Yep, he said, wake up. Wake up, church. You've been asleep way too long. Why can't you just stay awake just for a while? Hey, let me come in. Oh, but he'll say, Wake up, church. Wake up. Glory to God. Or he's going to say, Oh, church. Oh, church, just sleep on. Sleep on. Sleep on. He come the Lord high. He's gonna say, "Sleep on, church. Sleep on. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, mm, I need a little more sleep. Church, I'm telling you today, what God gave me. He said, either you wake up or the tempter's gonna come and he's gonna tempt you. In your sleep, he's gonna tempt you. While you sat in the house of God, he's gonna tempt you, Lord of God. You say, oh no, no, Brother Miller, you've missed God. No, I ain't. Mm -mm. You can ask that over there. If I don't get a message from God, I don't preach it. Glory to God, when God gives me something, I'm going to tell the church. I don't care who gets mad, who don't like it. I don't care if you weren't here this morning and you're hearing it by live stream. Glory to God, you can sleep. You can sleep on. And God said, wake up, church. Wake up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, this world's coming to a close. Amen. And the Bible said what? While it's day, because night will come. And no man will be able to work. Amen. Brother Austin, he said, look up. Yep, Lord. Look up. Your redemption draws nigh. Amen. That's what it says. He said, I'm also nigh. Yep, Lord. He said, I'm also nigh, even at the door. Sister Emily, he says, I'm at the door. I'm right there at the threshold. And I'm fixing to come and get my bride. Amen. And the church better wake up. But he's going to come like a thief in the night. Guess what? He's going to catch the sacred churches asleep. He's 
gonna catch the Pentecostal churches asleep. Oh, brother Miller. Oh, he's gonna catch the church of God asleep. Amen. Yeah. He's gonna catch the Methodists asleep. Amen. He's gonna catch the Presbyterians, Help. the Baptists, mm -hmm. the Church of God of prophecies. He's gonna catch them asleep. All these independent churches, guess what? Yeah. If they ain't on far for God, he's gonna catch them asleep. And when he comes, guess what he's going to say? Sleep on. Just sleep on. Sleep on, church. And he's going to take his bride home. Hallelujah. He said, there's a number that no man can know. I want to be one of them in the bride. I want to be one of them churches. Hallelujah. I want to be one of them. Brother Joshua, when he calls our name, then we go through and we're gone. I will be one of them, Sister Tony, that's alive and remain. Amen. And I get to watch them old dead bodies come up out of them graves. Yep. Come up out of that concrete, up out of that black top. Yep. Glory to God, you're still coming up out of the waters and the rivers. Yep. Come to see Jesus. Come to see Jesus. And then the Bible said, those which are alive and remain shall be gone. Yep. And there, Sister Tanya, and all of a sudden, just so, and you're gone. And those old earthly clothes just fall off of you. All those old rags and riches just falls right off of you. And that robe of white that he puts upon us, that glorified body. No more sickness. No more pain. No more death. No more sorrow. Won't have to worry about leg pains no more. Won't have to worry about back pains no more. I won't have to worry about these spasms that I've been having in my, my exotic nerve back here. I won't have to worry about that no more. I won't have to worry about going to a graveyard or going to a funeral home no more. Because I'm going to a place where death shall not enter. I'm going to a place where cancer will not be there. I'm going to a place where there won't be no sugar diabetes. I'm going to a place where there won't be no uh, uh, tuberculosis of the liver. I'm going to a place where there won't be no cancer in the liver. I, I'm going to a place, Brother Michael, I, where there's going to be joy. Just 
one hour is all I ask you to stay with him. One hour. It ain't that hard just to stay one hour. You can't even get down and pray for an hour. He says you can't even pray for an hour. You start to read the Word. Guess what the tempter does? What does he do? You start going. Doze it off. He says, oh, I'll just go on and go to sleep. You don't need to read that Word. And that sleepy spell goes, he says, go to sleep. And all of a sudden, your Bible, I said, your Bible just goes, and you're, or, today's terms, he'll come at you and say, oh, just get on Facebook. It'd be okay, don't read that word. Just get on Facebook and look on Facebook or play those video games or do this and do that and it'd be okay. And Jesus said, just sleep on. Sleep on while the tempter comes. Because he's going to tempt you with temptations. I asked God. I said, Lord, I want more of you. I want to be able to preach to the church what the church needs. I want to preach something that's going to help the church. Amen. And I didn't know that God was going to preach this way. I did not know this is the way this was going to go. I did not know that I was going to preach on the secular churches and the friendly churches being asleep. I did not know that. But I do know this. One day He's going to come. And He's going to split them skies. And He's going to say, Time shall be no more. And he's going to look at them churches and say, Sleep on. Sleep on, church. And he's going to call his church, his bride. His bride. He's going to call them out. And the ones that's true, the ones that's living it, he's going to call them out one by one. And he's going to say, Come on. Come on. Come on. You was right, bride. You was watching. You was praying. You know that's what's wrong with the world today. Christians are not watching for Jesus. And he said to be a watch. He said make sure you watch and you pray. You watch and you pray. He said because I'm going to come quickly. And he said my reward is with me. Brother Josh he's going to come. There's a twinkling of an eye. He's going to come a moment that you think not. He's coming. You say, Brother Miller, is he going to come at midnight? I don't know. Is he going to come in the morning? I don't know. The Bible said Jesus himself did not know what day or hour that he's coming. The Bible said not even the angels in heaven know, but only his Father knows the day and the hour. There's a day and an hour that God has got set for His Son to come back and get the church. And I believe after we see things happen in May, and we see Jerusalem begin to become the capital of Israel, we better be watching. And we better be praying. Don't have those suitcases ready. You better have that suitcase already packed up and ready to go. Don't you wait. Glory to God. Uh, uh, uh. Somebody mentioned something to me. I can't remember who it was. But they said, what if Jesus came to your house and said, said, what are you going to do? What are you going to do if Jesus comes to your house today? Would you be ready to accept Him? Or would you say, wait a minute, Jesus, I got some things I got to put away. I got some things that the tempter's been tempting me with, and I got to get it out of my house. Amen. I got to get it out of my house. What house? I'm talking about this house. This house. Oh, I got a little sin in here that nobody don't know about, Jesus, but I got to get it out before you. Jesus done already know it. He done already seen it. And he's going to say, just sleep on. 
就是水泡，就是水泡。There's a place in the Bible where it says, "Wake up, sleeping giant." Church, God is trying to warn the church. He's trying to warn the church to wake up and to start worshiping Him, start praying, start seeking His face, start reading this Word of God. Don't you know that the the liberals is wanting to take the Word of God out of our hands already as we speak? You say all they want to get—that's the first step—is try to get the guns. Then they want to get the Bible out of the Christians' hands. They do not want us to have this Word of God. They do not want us to have the Bible because it's got Jesus. It's got the blood in it. It's got the Word in it. They do not want us to have that. They don't want you to have the Word. That's why Jesus said, write it on the tablets of your heart. That you'll have it in those days that you'll be able to know that Word. And how you're going to know that Word is you've got to pick that Word up and you've got to read it every day. Every day, if it takes you 30 minutes to read 10 chapters, you read them 10 chapters and you give it to God. God don't ask for much. He just said, give me 10% of your time. 10%. 10% out of a day. How, how much is that, Brother Austin? Two hours and 40 minutes. Two hours and 40 minutes. Two hours and 40 minutes. Two hours and 40 minutes is all he wants. You don't have to do it all in one, two hours. You can do it. Break it up. Break it up. As long as you get that two hours and 40 minutes in. I came out here last night and I prayed. And I prayed and I prayed. And I prayed. And I read my word. And I looked up and I seen what time it was. Time just went by so fast. And two hours and 40 minutes to go by so fast that you won't even know it. You just say, church, wake up. She gets a song. He said, church, just wake up. Wake up, church. Wake up. Or the tempter's going to come and he's going to tempt you. He told Peter, James, and John, and I guarantee you, when, John, when Peter was sitting there, by that tree, the tempter came and said, Oh, Peter, you know you wasn't with him. And you know when they come to take Jesus away, he said, Oh, Peter, just pull out your sword and cut that soldier, that soldier's ear off. Just cut that high priest's ear off. You just cut it off. Preachers say that Jesus would bend down and pick up that ear, put that ear upon him. The Bible didn't say that. The Bible said, Brother Austin, that he just looked like this right here. And that man's ear was back on him. He didn't bring down a pick one up. He just put his hand on him and ear to ear. That's the Bible. I read it and I served. I didn't see nowhere where it said Jesus bent down and picked that ear up.